Hello, my name is Tom Allen and I'm filming this video for my Cornell Master Beekeeping course. Uh, this is my submission for uh, video one, field study one. Um, I'll now put up here. I'm at the McHenry County College uh, Apiary. We have six hives out here. It doesn't look as nice as the Cornell area, but uh, it will in a few years. They're working to make this apiary in these fields uh, look much nicer. So, all right. This box obviously has two supers on it. We are in here um, in late June and uh, Mark the Queen saw uh, a good amount of brood. They were bringing in pollen and uh, nectar. Today's temperature is about uh, in the mid to high 70s. The humidity is a little high, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday. Make sure for some reason the queen's not up there. This is nice. Gives me a good, good dark surface to check the bees on. I have a smoker here just in case, but I I don't want to smoke the uh, supers if I don't have to. These bees are pretty uh, gentle, which is nice. The ones next to them, not so nice. So I like to take out the second frame. Wax is built out nicely, they're filling it with nectar. It's good to see. Now this one's full as well. It's got a little bit more capped than the previous one, which is normal. This third one just to see if we can check the next two this way. Well, now this side's fully capped. This side's about a third capped, quarter capped. And this one, the next one, is fully capped on this side. So I'm just going to pop it loose real quick to check. Looks like it's most likely. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's fully capped. So this is, uh, and these are all, these look nice. Some of these frames are brand new, so they built out the uh, all the comb this year. So there's a lot of very white wax. Uh, if I were so inclined, I would could enter these in our uh, local county fair uh, honey frame contest and probably probably win some of these hives out here belong to me but uh, I've kind of turned them over to the Northern Illinois Beekeepers Association for a mentor program we do uh, this is where we teach our newbies uh, how to be beekeepers how to not be uh, how to not do that how to handle frames and do, uh, you know, install packages, nooks, or whatever. This hive was a package installed in about mid-April. Uh, we fed for about two weeks because of our temperatures. And uh, after that, it's all been on them. Doing a really good job. Check this super. Mm -hmm. Probably about. 
about the time to add a third soup around here, although we're going to be extracting here in the near future from a time standpoint. Another nice frame. Very nice. So the, the next one in has uh, an area that's not capped, but pretty capped, pretty well capped. The bees are working it well. Scared me for a second. There is a queen excluder on here, but it looks like uh, they were trying to, the queen was up there trying to lay some eggs just because of the pattern, but there's a queen excluder. I don't see anything in these open cells. Yeah. We just have a lot more work to do on these, so probably hold off on uh, adding a super to this one for now and we'll check it back in, a, in another week or so, see how we're doing, see how they're doing. There's a plastic queen extruder here. Try not to pop it too hard and shaping it, break it, whatever. You see, the bees are gentle. They're uh, cooperative. shape to it but there's a fair amount of honey on the corners and looking at this there's some bee bread in there this is a black plastic foundation so let me see here see the other sides a little bit better a little more filled in if they uh, fill these last two in well, on both sides, they'll have a lot of winter stores. So if you want to come around my back here and see, let me try to look. I don't see, I don't see any eggs or larvae. Like I said, bee bread and some nectar packed in there. So I think uh, make sure they have winter stores.
like I said, a few weeks ago we did uh, we did have this apart. Did a mic count. The mic was mic count was uh, one, so we didn't treat. Did have a marked queen. She's uh, this year's queen, so she's yellow. Oops. So I'm gonna look at this. See the queen in there. See a lot of capped brood. You can see uh, probably three, four day old larva. Um, if you look right, move my hand, right in here, you can see very young larva right there. Where my thumb is, hopefully you can see that. But I don't see any eggs yet. Let's check that corner again. No, a lot of young larvae in this in this corner here. Up in there. It looks like they're just going about doing their job. Young larva all the way up to the top. So the queen's been here, but you know, four or five days ago anyway. A lot of larva. Well, most of these cells look open. There's larva. Different stages in them. Oh, there's some eggs right in these cells right there. Hopefully you can see those. I'm trying to get out. Right in there, there's some eggs. So, I mean, that means the queen's been in there within the last two days anyway, because uh, these eggs are still upright. See, I, did, I didn't have to smoke these girls, so they're pretty well adjusted. Some brood, probably about covered in half brood. The upper corners are have some nectar. There's a young larva. Same with this frame. Uh, so larva we have uh, young larva up in here right there let me see this other side I like to move them with just a little puff of air instead of moving them with my finger. I don't see the eggs on this one. Did not see the queen. This one's got about 25% uh, of the, this side capped. Both these cells inside there, in between them, around them. Got a lot of drone comb on the bottom. 
Speaking of drones, got a few drones here. Let's see the queen out here. Okay, this brain has on this side. A little a few uh, pockets of calf brood right in there. There's some larva. But there's pollen, there's bee bread packed in there. And I, some shiny nectar. We're still in a nectar flow here for a little while. This is the first side. You see the, the capped brood there. Some larva, larva going out to the right, almost to where the, the pollen is, is, the bee bread is packed in there. There's some, some larva in there. So, but no queen, no queen spotted yet. Got some cap, some cap root up in this corner. You can see it up in here. Now there's a there's a clean cup down there that is empty. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully, it's empty in there. Got a lot of bee bread on the right side of this frame over by my right hand. Now let's see here. I'll flip it around. And again, they're building this out to where the bee bread, you know, where the bee bread needs it. So out here, oops, I'm not sure why. But you know. They, they used up that room where the queen could lay to, uh, to pack in bee bread. more uh, wonky drone comb on the bottom. Up oh, there's a queen right there. She's a beautiful light brown queen. Almost matches my gloves. Hopefully you can see her right there. She's walking around the cells looking for somewhere to lay some eggs. Let's see if she if she backs into one and drops one. Well, I'm glad we found her. That's a good sign. She's trying. She's certainly looking for a uh, for a cell to drop an egg. Tomorrow, so he's going to go to the other side. Who knows?
we'll probably use this colony for our fair coming up in a couple of weeks. And we do an observation hive. And uh, so we take a few frames inside for a while. Gives, that'll give this uh, group a, a one week uh, brood break. There she goes, dropping in, backing into a cell and dropping an egg. Oh, cool. Very cool. Good deal. So when we do that, it gives them a one week brood break. Oftentimes they, they begin to make a new queen. So we might leave her caged. But uh, get a long, you know, for a longer period of time for more of a brood break. And use that queen in another colony that's had a problem. Whether it's, you know, here at the McHenry County College Apiary or if it's at the someone, someone else's, uh, you know, private hives. We'll still offer that queen to them if somebody needs it. Now you can see something right here called festooning right there and they're kind of locked on that's part of the wax making process and they will only do that when uh well when the colony is queen right so what i'm going to do is probably take some of this comb off the bottom so it doesn't stick it's empty anyway But that's something that's another good sign that you can uh, look for. You know, you don't you don't find your queen, you don't think you have one, whatever. And uh, lo and behold, when you see them festooning, you know, they might just there might be a queen in there. You just couldn't find her. We did that a couple years ago for another club member. They were sure that they didn't have one. They bought one, and then uh, turned out we found her. So. You can see this frame is uh, pretty full. There's some uh, young larva in, in the open cells here. Let me come around here, get a better look. You, know, you can see some, some of these open cells here. There's got some, some bee bread up in here. Uh, young larva near the top. Uh, I don't see any eggs on this one, so maybe the queen will be back. two frames on that on this side where I am were mostly uh, food mostly stored uh, honey and bee bread so this is the last one, or second to the last one on the far side and it's a it's a nice frame of uh, kept brood let me see here some honey A little bit of honey in the corners, which is nice. And there's uh, the, the open cells in between where the capped brood is. You can see there's some uh, larva in there. We got some nice, nice amount of royal jelly, nice puddle there. Um, so if I can show it all up in here. So, yep. Those are probably a day and a half, two days old. So they'll continue to work, work on, uh, they'll feed them a little bit more and then get ready to cap them. So it's nice to see more, uh, obviously more bees coming. Let's see this side, this is another plastic foundation. And we have several of these in the other ones. They have not built out this whole frame with comb. So they got a spot right here that they haven't built out yet.
for whatever reason. Um, but there's bee bread up in here, some nectar in the corner. I don't see, uh, I don't see any, any larva or eggs. I don't think they would be here. But she's working her way across, hopefully. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this around the opposite way, maybe. See if they'll build that out. But I do want to take this other uh, drone comb off the bottom because it's sticking to the screen bottom board. Um, what we've done in the past and has worked really well uh, in other hives last year was to put a, the second frame in actually was a uh, super frame and we used that as a drone trap and you just have to make sure that you go in there regularly enough to know when they're going to cap it so that it doesn't wind up, uh, you know, becoming a, a mite bomb because you, uh, you didn't get it out in time. So uh, that worked really well, kept our mite population down. Okay, the last frame, let's see where we're at. Now they're a little, a little agitated here. I'll calm down. So another one with uh, just a lot of stores, a lot of bee bread, a lot of capped honey. So it looks like the first one on the other side, as far as I can see, I didn't take it out, but I mean, you can see that there's a bee bread here, a lot of bee bread. I don't see any, uh, you know, I wouldn't expect to, but Sometimes you'll see once in a while a little bit of larva in there because the queen found is an open cell that she wanted to use, but there's none on here that are being used for that. Once again, I'm gonna take this off real quick. Um, this thing is queen right, so I mean, they really, they won't need drones in theory. Because, uh, you know, they're in, in pretty good shape. The queen's young. So, uh, but what we'll have to watch out for is uh, make sure that uh, when we take it out and do a brood break for the fair, that the, uh, there'll be enough, if they want to make a queen, there'll be enough drones around the mate, in a drone congregation area. We have, uh, Five other hives out here, and there are beekeepers in the area, pretty prevalent. So, let's see if I'm able to keep my circle line on. The puffs of air will throw them away from the styles. Beekeeper's biggest problem, at least my case. Put it back together slowly so I don't crunch too many bees. Try not to do that to do one side at a time. Okay, so I would rate this hive as thriving. Uh, they're doing a good job of uh, storing their, their honey. They're doing a good job of filling up the supers. 
There's a lot of brood. Looks like the queen is doing a good job. So I'll put this all back together. I uh, hope I met your expectations. I hope you saw everything you wanted to see or thought you should see. Thank my cameraman for not talking. You know, that's not always an easy thing to do when you see something. Old beekeepers go to eight frames. I should consider that. I put this side, this notch down. We're not in robbing season yet, so it helps them out a little bit. But uh, we'll be in robbing season soon, so. This will flip around so that the vent is up. Gives the guard bees a little better chance to stop them up here. Uh, also, I'll put robber screens on there to uh, keep uh, hornets and yellow jackets and stuff out so that they're not uh, robbing them blind. We do have all of our hives marked with a piece of tape up here. Uh, and then we put a couple rocks on the top, which we moved out of the way so I wouldn't trip. But we, uh, we placed them on the corners, not in the center, so that the, uh, the outer cover doesn't get bowed over time. Uh, we found working, putting them on the covers works better. So thank you for uh, watching. And I know Emma's not there, but Emma was using this. And that's the first time I saw it. And so uh, I asked her about it. And so I want to say thanks for that because this thing works really well. All right, thank you.